Hello, Fredgar here. I want to welcome all the members of the Secret Silver Stacking Society. Uh, what you're seeing in front of you is a Libertad. Uh, what makes this Libertad so important is uh, actually I had a package in the mail and it turns out to be the lost Libertad that I had originally ordered. Now a couple of things happened. It, that was a video I made a while back about an order I didn't receive uh, from eBay. It was supposed to be a 2015 Libertad. Um, so uh, you can see, well you may not be able to see very well, but there's actually some writing on the back and it says 2015 on there okay now uh, I guess somebody was kind enough to uh, put the package back in the mail they realized they had the wrong the package was for somebody else and uh, they put it back in the mail so cool thing is I finally got it uh, the bummer is it's not a 2015 it's actually a 2016 but that's okay. Silver to me. I mean, I, I like this uh, Libertad's. We've talked about it in the past. Um, they really have been going up in value because they have low mintage numbers. But anyway, I'm, I'm still satisfied with the 2016 uh, Libertad. I tested it on my uh, CCT slide, coin slide. That I got from eBay. Uh, it's a budget slide. So I paid around $50. I know I've talked about that too in the past. Um, let's see if I can. If it will go down slow even in the plastic. No, no. Let's try flipping it. But anyways, my point being. I can still feel the resistance a little bit. My point being though. Um leave this here um, my point being that uh, you know hey I, I looked out um, I had some favor uh, to get that coin or around or whatever you want to call it uh, in the mail it's kind of a hybrid coin and round if you watch my videos I talk about it it's more of a round than a coin um, so I'm just very happy that I got it uh, also, uh, silver has been dropping in spot price. Premiums, uh, I don't know if premiums are going up right now. I still got to do my research on that. But, um, I definitely want to, um, make some purchases, hopefully Friday of, um, next week. I can start making some purchases. Uh, buy some silver again and um, hopefully uh, things will be alright for me uh, in terms of stacking silver some bad things going on with the job uh, some things I'm not too happy about but uh, I'm going to hang in there and uh, persevere uh, for now anyways I'm getting some leads for different job opportunities so, um, you know, I may try to get another job. They cut my hours uh, for my during the week, the new job that's for during the week. So um, I'm going to have to ask, um, you know, hey, will that change or is that permanent? What's going on? Um, so... We all are going to, uh, you know, I'm going through some changes, but I'm going to continue to try to make it, uh, YouTube videos. I'm going to continue trying to uh, at least try to get you guys one video a week, if not a couple videos every week. Um, I may have to make them early in the morning. Uh, also, uh, you know, maybe I'll have to do that. I may be a little bit quiet because, uh, some family members are probably going to be sleeping.
during the morning. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll come up with something to try to continue uh, putting out videos for you guys. Now, I did make a video a little while back, too, about um, selling some slapped coins. Well, due to the recent drop in spot price, um, I don't think that's a good idea to sell those slapped coins. Um, but what I may do is still consider selling um, some gold. I have a little bit of gold, like grams and half grams, so I may get rid of those. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, gold is still pretty high in my opinion. Um, it hasn't dropped dramatically in my opinion. Um, so that's one thing. So we'll, we'll see. I may sell some gold and see what I can get for it um, or trade for uh, something else. Um, let's see what else is on my mind. Um, there was another video where I said I had six of those half, um, Canadian coins, um, half rounds, or not half rounds, sorry, half ounce, um, Canadian coins that I showed you. I had actually had 12 of those, so it was about six ounces, uh, all total in the, uh, half ounce coins and um, two more ounces in the other two Canadian coins. Don't really enjoy having so much Canadian silver, but it's really on the market right now. I think a lot of people are getting rid of uh, some silver that is not as desirable um, because of milk spots and things like that. A lot of Canadian silver has the milk spots going on, at least before 2018 they have a lot of milk spots um so i may be buying more canadian silver because the dealer i go to uh they have a lot of canadian silver they also have some philharmonics so um i could run by and get some of those uh maybe in about a month or so we'll see i don't really like the philharmonics uh it's not my favorite coin just because it really doesn't state in English or in regular numbers or, uh, well, it may say it in, I can't remember if it says it in numbers, but uh, it really doesn't state in English um, if it's an ounce uh, or, or, or ounce of silver or anything like that. So I really just don't like the Philharmonics. I know a lot of people are like, Fred, you don't like the Philharmonics. Oh, they're great. Uh, to stack. Uh, hey, it's just that's just me personally. Um, not to knock anybody who likes Philharmonics. It's not that it looks bad. Um, I just, you know, n being uh, a little bit nitpicky, and um, that is my reasoning for not enjoying the Philharmonics. And I do have a couple of those, and I probably will end up buying more. Um, but uh, I just don't think it's as identifiable if you wanted to talk to somebody and say, hey, look, I got a, a one ounce silver uh, coin here and they don't see one ounce on the coin or they don't see that it says silver on the coin. Uh, they may be like, yeah, I don't believe you, you know, and maybe you would want to use this to show them that it's silver and not clad or have a, a Sigma analytics uh device to help you um uh determine if it's real or fake you know um so uh it just brings some challenges some unique challenges i think collectors would be able to tell hey look i know philharmonics i think it's great um i am willing to exchange whatever for those philharmonic coins that you have so, um, but, uh, but you know me, guys, uh, when it comes to stacking, I don't mind buying coins that I don't necessarily like. I didn't like the uh, South African Cougarans, and I believe I have about 20 of those, um, and I still may buy a few more. The, I have 20 of the 2020 uh, South African Cougarans that came out this year. Uh, they came out... <clears throat> Excuse me. They came out very cheap 
and because I got them early on, and then they kind of went up in uh, value as time uh, progressed. So um, they have a bit of a higher premium now, at least here locally in the Tucson area. Um, so uh, any other news? Not much. Just kind of catching up with Silver 5150's videos. And um, like I said, I'm getting back into stacking a little bit harder. Uh, not making as much money as I would have liked. Uh, as I would have liked with these two jobs. Um, but like I said, I believe in another video, I'm going to work on my ebook business. And um, I may do some social media consulting. Because um, uh, I have other uh, social media channels. Or not channels, but platforms, I should say is the correct term. I have other social media platforms like Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. And I've done pretty well on Twitter and LinkedIn. I do have Facebook, but um, Facebook has had some unique challenges uh, that have, um, I, I really don't like it because it's so possible for you to get hacked, your phone to get hacked. Uh, it's just not very, um, not a very good, uh, I don't know, platform, I guess. Um, but I, I know some people get great success with Facebook. So uh, to each their own. Um, I just don't use that platform. But I really enjoy LinkedIn. I think it's great. I have a lot of fun with that. Um, there's a lot of versatility there. Um, so I just wanted to come to you guys. Make a short video. Uh, and also uh, let you know I'm still here. I'm back in the stacking game. Uh, more so I'll probably at least buy uh, by Friday if price is still spot price still is low or flat um, buy at least eight ounces I'm thinking eight to ten ounces which is a lot for me because normally I only buy five at a time but um, I like how spot is going down um, I just hope premiums don't creep back up um, to you know, I think dealers have made a lot of money with these premiums. And um, I think it's time for the premiums to come down. And I think they have come down a little bit. And even though spot prices going low, maybe they'll stay the same. And that will be great. I hope they do. Um, but if they don't, if they raise up, then like I said, I will adjust my strategy. And maybe not buy as much. Um... So that's where I'm at with um, silver for the moment. I just hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. And um, if you're seeing this video maybe later during the week, that's cool too. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video from beginning to end. I appreciate everybody who's subscribed, who's commented, uh, who's given me information, who's contacted me, who's written me by mail. Um, I know in a couple videos I don't put my P.O. Box in there, but if you go into my older videos, you will see my P.O. Box information. Um, I may do it in this video. I don't know yet in the description. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Now, I hope you guys have taken advantage of the ebook link I gave you for the free ebook uh, that Robert Kiyosaki put out about basic financial uh personal finance and how to manage that it's totally free uh please take advantage of that video i think i did that a video the last video or the video before last where i talked about that uh totally free um and then uh also urban lifestyles uh discord look for him i believe it's urban lifestyle 1989 on discord if that link didn't work uh Follow him because, you know, a lot of my financial uh, learning and understanding has come from watching Eli, Urban Lifestyle, and um, all the things that he does. Uh, I have learned and become better at investing, better at managing my money, um, better at uh, just knowing the game. Okay, this video went on way longer than I thought. I hope you guys take care. Stay safe out there. 
uh, keep your immune systems up uh, with uh, supplements, vitamins, things like that. Um, you can watch Silver 5150. Uh, on his channel, he goes over, in his older videos, he went over uh, vitamins to take and supplements to take to help keep your immune system strong. And as Silver5150 says, uh, it's only 15 ounces to your name. That keeps you 99% ahead of the game. And I believe 15 ounces to your name will make you a member of the secret Silver Stacking Society. Okay, this is Fred Gar here. Take care, have a wonderful weekend, and have a great week. All right, bye-bye.